For ages, people have wondered what was around before the Big Bang. It's a question that messes with our heads and pushes the limits of what we know. Imagine standing at the very beginning, staring into nothing, and wondering what was there before our universe popped into existence with the Big Bang. There was a point at which time, space, and everything else began. But was there anything before that moment? Was it just empty? Or was there something we can't even imagine? As we dig into this, science takes us on a wild ride through theories that make us rethink everything. Brian Cox, a physicist who knows a lot about the universe, thinks something really weird might have been there before the Big Bang. He wants us to rethink what we believe about reality, time, and space. We're going to check out the science, the ideas, and the strange mysteries that might tell us what happened before everything else. We'll talk about cosmic inflation, quantum stuff, dark energy, and even the multiverse. What we find might surprise you, and maybe even change how you see our place in the huge cosmos. Get ready for a journey into a place beyond imagination, where the unknown scares researchers. Let's look at what might have existed before the Big Bang and why these ideas mess with what we thought was true. To understand what could have been there before the Big Bang, we need to understand what the Big Bang actually was. Scientists say it was the moment when the universe was super hot and dense, and then it quickly grew, creating all the stuff, energy, and forces we know. When we look at the stars at night, we see proof of this hot start, with galaxies moving away from a center point. But why did it happen? And was there anything prior to this fiery, dense beginning? According to cosmic inflation, there was a before, and it wasn't empty. Cosmic inflation says that before the Big Bang, the universe was cold, empty, and huge, like a giant nothing. But this nothing wasn't really empty. It had a ton of energy that made space grow super fast. This process, called inflation, happened so fast that it set the stage for everything that followed in a flash. Space grew at crazy speeds until it slowed down, and the energy changed into matter, particles, and the forces we know as the Big Bang. But what was this energy? Why did it suddenly make the universe inflate, and why did it stop? Scientists think that this cosmic inflation created different areas of the universe, each with its own Big Bang. Each area represents a universe, including ours. This idea is called the inflationary multiverse, and it says that there could be a bunch of Big Bangs and universes. Our universe is just one of them. This huge idea messes with our understanding of the universe and makes us wonder what else is out there. The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is still just a theory, at least for now. Even if you took away all the energy, particles, and light from the universe, it still wouldn't be totally empty. Our universe has dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that create something, even in its emptiest form. The universe would continue to create kinds of energy. This confuses scientists and suggests that true nothingness might not be possible in our universe. When we dig deeper, we see that space itself has stuff that stops it from being nothing at all. Imagine attempting to make a place with absolutely nothing in it, no particles, no light, no energy. But quantum fields and basic constants would still be there. That means this nothingness would still have something. One thing is zero-point energy, the lowest energy level of quantum fields. In this state, particles can appear and disappear quickly, leaving a ghost of activity even in empty space. This messes with our idea of a true void and shows that even before the Big Bang, there was something that scientists are just starting to understand. If inflation made our universe, Brian Cox pictures a scary, big inflationary multiverse where universes are always being created and growing. Imagine each Big Bang sparking a new universe, while inflation keeps going somewhere else, making more universes. This could go on forever. This idea of infinite universes leads to a cool thought about a fractal universe, where every new universe can make its own Big Bang. Each universe is its own world, not affected by the others because of the fast growth of space. This idea is both exciting and worrying for scientists because it suggests an eternal multiverse with no real beginning or end. What if our universe is just a tiny part of a huge cosmic thing that's always growing and creating? Our understanding of nothingness gets even more complicated when we talk about quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't just a bunch of stuff floating in space, it's a web of energy fields that fill the cosmos and work together to make everything we see. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, called the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and disappear from these areas by borrowing energy quickly before giving it back. This creates virtual particles, temporary things that pop up and then vanish, leaving a faint trace. The idea of virtual particles messes with the idea of a true void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, light, and energy have been taken away. 
would you have complete nothingness? According to quantum field theory, no. Even in a vacuum, fields would stay active, sometimes making particles. This constant activity in nothingness suggests that the universe doesn't follow our rules of emptiness. There are fields and forces that fill the universe with energy that stops total nothingness. This makes us ask a question. If fields create particles, and particles make matter, could the universe have come from this nothingness filled with quantum fields, dark energy, and this weird force that's making our universe grow faster? Could dark energy have existed before the Big Bang? Some scientists think that the dark energy we see now might be left over from an energy field that was around before our universe was born. Dark energy's properties hint at a hidden force that could have been present before the Big Bang in some form. Some theories say that dark energy, in a stronger form, could have powered the inflationary phase, allowing fast growth. The presence of dark energy means that even if our universe had no matter or light, this force would still be stretching the fabric of space. This leads to a scary idea. If dark energy existed before the Big Bang, it might have shaped the conditions that led to our universe. Could dark energy be the quiet force behind cosmic inflation, or even the start of our universe? As we look at this idea, we face the chance that dark energy might not only affect the creation of our universe, but also hold the key to understanding the multiverse. Another theory that suggests the Big Bang isn't the real beginning is cyclic cosmology. This is the idea that the universe goes through cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. In this idea, the Big Bang isn't a one-time thing but part of a cosmic rhythm where universes grow, shrink, and then grow again in new cycles. This theory says that our universe could have been born from the leftovers of a previous one. The shrinking and growing in a cycle means that there was never a true beginning, just a series of universes appearing, changing, and renewing themselves forever. Scientists say the Big Bang was the moment when all the matter, energy, space, and even time itself rapidly expanded from a state of incredible density and heat. It wasn't an explosion in space, it was the expansion of space. Everything we see today, galaxies, stars, planets, even us, came from that moment. But if time itself began with the Big Bang, then asking what happened before it is like asking what's north of the North Pole. Still, human curiosity refuses to stop there. That's why theories like cosmic inflation, quantum fluctuations, eternal inflation, and the multiverse are so compelling. They offer ways to imagine a reality before our known universe. And as strange as these ideas are, they are rooted in real physics. They are attempts to explain not just how our universe works, but why it exists at all. Some scientists propose we live in a bubble universe within a vast inflationary multiverse, where countless other bubble universes are constantly being born. Others believe that the Big Bang was just one phase in an eternal cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, the cyclic model. Still others explore quantum gravity and string theory, hunting for a theory of everything that could explain the pre-Big Bang conditions. The hunt isn't just scientific, it's philosophical. What does it mean to exist? Is nothing even possible? Are we part of something eternal, infinite, and beyond comprehension? We may never fully answer these questions. But every time we look deeper into the fabric of reality, we get closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. What came before the Big Bang might remain one of science's greatest mysteries, but the journey to find the answer continues to expand the very boundaries of human thought. And maybe, just maybe, the next discovery will not only change what we know about the beginning, but about everything. Moment when the universe was super hot and packed tight, then, bam, it exploded outwards generating all of the energy and forces we've got today. Look up at the night sky, and you'll see galaxies zooming away from each other like leftovers from this giant explosion. According to cosmic inflation, before the Big Bang, the universe was cold and empty, spread out like a giant nothingness. But even this empty space had a ton of energy that expanded space itself super fast. Space expanded like crazy and then slowed down. The energy turned into matter, particles, and the forces we know as the Big Bang. Why did it stop? Some scientists think this inflation made loads of different areas, each having its own Big Bang. Think of a huge fabric with bubbles popping up all over the place. Each bubble is a universe like ours, because there may be no end to Big Bangs. And never-ending universes. Our universe is just one of many. It messes with how we understand everything. But even if you get rid of all the energy and stuff, it still wouldn't be totally empty. There's dark matter, dark energy, those quantum field things, and other forces that are stuck. Even if you imagine taking all that away, the universe would still make new forms of energy. This disrupts scientists' heads, suggesting that real nothingness might not be possible. Space itself has stuff about it. 
rules and things that stop it from being totally empty. Imagine trying to make a place with nothing in it. These quantum fields remain, which indicates that nothing has changed. One of these things is zero-point energy, the lowest energy state of quantum fields. Even in empty space, particles can appear and disappear for a bit, leaving a trace. So it wasn't a true void. One wild idea is eternal inflation. If inflation made our universe, maybe it's still going on. Brian Cox has this scary idea where universes keep getting made and extending the entire time. Each big bang is like a spark making a new universe, while inflation keeps making others. It could go on forever and ever. This fractal universe suggests that every new universe could make its own big bang. Quantum field theory declares that the universe is not just stuff floating in space, it's a web of energy fields that make everything we see. Even when these fields are at their lowest, they're still doing stuff. Particles can appear and vanish, obtaining energy for a split second. This makes virtual particles temporary things that pop in and out of non-existence. Picture a void, a universe with nothing in it. You would not have total nothingness. Ever. In a vacuum, fields would still be active, sometimes making fleeting particles. This leads to a question. Could the universe have come from this nothingness filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is this mysterious force that's causing our universe to expand at an ever-increasing rate. Has dark energy ever existed before the Big Bang? This force might have been around before the Big Bang in some form. It might have powered the inflation. If dark energy existed before the Big Bang, it might have made the conditions that caused our universe. Could dark energy be the cause of cosmic inflation, or even the real source of our universe? Could dark energy unlock secrets of the multiverse? Another idea is cyclic cosmology. The universe is in an endless birthing and rebirth cycle. The Big Bang isn't a one-off thing. It's part of a cosmic rhythm, where universes shrink, then expand again. Our universe could have originated from the leftovers of a previous one. There was never a real beginning, just universes that emerge, alter, and rejuvenate what was. Before the Big Bang, there was only one version of the universe, it might collapse. Gravitational waves are ripples in space caused by big cosmic events. Primordial waves could show details of the universe's early times. But what if there were waves before the Big Bang? Some guesses are that gravitational waves could exist from a pre-Big Bang time, a time before the universe as we know it. Before the Big Bang, there was a question. The search will continue for years as ideas and new discoveries are made. Could the universe have always been here? Did it come from a quantum thing, a cosmic accident, or something stranger? As we search through the universe, the quest will shape our understanding of what is, for generations. Maybe, in the far reaches of understanding, the question itself is flawed. We ask when it began, but what if time, as we know it, is just a feature inside this universe? What if before the Big Bang, there was no before? No ticking clock. No moments to measure. Just, potential. Some physicists think time emerged with the Big Bang, like steam rising when water boils. No heat, no steam. No universe, no time. In this view, the Big Bang didn't happen in time, it brought time into being. That means before the Big Bang might be as meaningless as north of the North Pole. But others believe time might stretch endlessly in both directions. Loop quantum gravity, for instance, paints a wild picture. The universe didn't explode from nothing but bounced from a previous collapse. Picture a star collapsing into a black hole and then, bouncing back. Maybe our entire cosmos is the rebound of a previous one that died, shrank, and was crushed, only to explode again. A cosmic heartbeat. And what about the multiverse? Maybe our universe is one bubble in a cosmic foam, a single spark in a boundless firework display. Some universes might have different physics, others might collapse seconds after forming. Ours? Just lucky enough to last. Or maybe we're in a simulation, crafted by beings with godlike tech, running universes like apps, exploring existence through digital evolution. If that's the case, the Big Bang might be the moment they hit start. In all these theories, the essence of the mystery remains, how did everything come from seemingly nothing? We may never have a final answer, but the search changes us. It deepens our wonder. It pushes our limits. It invites us to think beyond our tiny world, to lift our gaze toward the vast unknown, and to ask, with humility and awe, 